We were eight guys uh, going on a hike in uh, Revisori. As we traveled Uganda, we saw interesting opportunities and possibilities. After studying it more and together with our local knowledge and, uh, and competence, it proved to be a good uh, location for us. The characteristics of Nkusi favor a compact project, um, which we felt we could execute based on um, technologies coming in from Norway and also work, work processes developed over the years in other industries, in the oil and gas industry. Nkursi is a 9.6 megawatt project with two equal sized Francis turbines. Annual production is estimated to be 53 gigawatt hours a year. This has been our first project to develop in Uganda. So we've had to combine expertise on the different aspects um, using a method of continuous improvement and using the right resources. We've managed to, um, to achieve our target and, and develop and deliver um, what we think is a, um, a good project. The project itself, the construction uh, kicked off uh, in October uh, 2015 with the uh, tunnel. Um, while Starting off with the tunnel, um, we were focusing our efforts on also getting the site developed. We then concluded that we could actually also start works on the dam. We employed over 150 people, roughly 90% of these were Ugandans. The challenges were quite a number of them. As you can see where the project location is. In the first stages, it was really tricky for me and for whoever was involved. Accessibility of different work locations has always been a challenge. You see the terrain, getting materials here is complicated, especially where the dam is located. It is in an escarpment down and you need the materials to construct. You know, working underground, not something very easy as usual. Fear in the tunnel, that's also another issue which is there. Uh, they are falling stones. The biggest challenge is the logistics and the lack of access for equipment, on, like on the dam area where everything has been made by hand. There's been no machine work at the dam at all. There's been um, the issue of getting the project executed in the timescales that we are used to seeing, but we're still pleased with uh, being able to achieve the project in just under three years. The benefits actually have been uh, exposed. I've indeed gained a lot of skills, both from Norwegians, uh, South Africans, and Peruvian engineers. Actually, when you talk to individuals here, they say this was almost like a technical school that whoever came without knowing anything got to know a lot of things. When I came here, I had two ways or qualifications to three. So as I reached here, I added on more knowledge because I had a team from German, from Norway, and my fellow Ugandanese. What I have benefited from this project, I have constructed my small house and then I bought my small pollot there up. So what the queen is our family young, was that the bang? Nengura Kone Kubin to Beranga, Taka, Poroti. From a corporate social responsibility perspective, um, at Ungusa Village, there we built a key site that can provide entrance and exit from the Ngusi village. Batu mbakera latrin yomulembi. Batu ha ambulance boat bete kaina masini eki katsari zamu katoitu. We were in position to extend uh, water to the nearest village, that is Ngusi village. And we also have between 25 and 30 local workers, more or less at all time, and there will also be some locals during the operation of the plant. There is just so much that we can speak about this project and the courage that was exhibited by PA Technico, Asa and his partners to, to stand where others have failed. Allow me to take this opportunity to congratulate PA Technico Services, the developer of Mkusi Hydropower Plant and the people of Hoima District upon this achievement. It's been a pleasure indeed to hear from the local communities hailing it as a project of great success. 
and actually talking about it as uh, something that is going to spur industrialization and the beginning of uh, small-scale industries in their area. This project is widely viewed as a public-private partnership success story, with Uganda being among the top destinations for renewable independent power producers on the continent. I want to be cognizant to get fit. Thank you so much. To me, it's not about the energy alone, but the costs. I think this is the utmost demonstration of patriotism one can do for his country. This represents a significant contribution to Uganda's power generation capacity. It is also a significant contribution to clean energy, energy efficiency and security of energy supply. It is the only plant that it is utilizing tunneling technology under the Get Fit program. I have the single honor and privilege to declare the Nkuzi power plant officially commissioned. I would like to thank the management for availing this opportunity to me and to uh, Ugandan staff. They have been very good at guidance. I really thank uh, uh, my employer so much. We thank you and we pray that next time we'll, we'll bring such a project again. So I thank all the Ugandans who contributed to uh, developing this project in time and on schedule. I'd like to thank the organizations that have participated in this project. So first and foremost we've got ERA, the regulatory authority, that has helped us with the licensing and permitting of the project. We'd also like to thank the GetFit for making this project a success. Um, we go on to thank um, the Trade Development Bank um, and we go on to thank all the other institutions that operate under the government of Uganda and that is the likes of NEMA, DWRM, the Ministry of Energy um, for providing adequate support in order to execute this project. <laughs>